Hey everyone and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Today I'll be looking at the Aurora class multi-role frigate. Sorry, just had to alt tab to see what it was called. Um, it's a nice little ship I just found on the workshop today and as you can see it's very vibrant, more so than most ships you find on the workshop and it's mainly, it's, it is a multi-role sort of thing just having a look at it and look at the, some of the stuff that it has. Um, however, it uh, does seem to excel as a combat ship as it has good maneuverability and um, it's got a lot of turrets on there. So, yeah, I think we'll just do a little fly around the exterior first. So at the front here, we have the green and red, I um, forget what they're called, but they're the direction lights. It's the left and right, but uh, yep, that's there. And that's sort of just presented as these like four little prongs here, which I really like. It's sort of got that uh, sub grid technique going on here with the little hinges there to make it so it has like little armor plating on the side there um, and that sort of just adds a bit more detail adds a bit more I guess geometry to it and just on the middle here this is sort of like the main part of the ship here we've just got a little gray sort of like underbelly or I guess like interior sort of part of the exterior here on the left and the right, we have these little red sort of cylinder things. I imagine these are supposed to be like fuel pods or something like that. Um, obviously, they serve no like actual purpose, but they look nice. And that's just got the iron beam block there, or the steel beam block there, and that looks pretty nice there. We've also got a lot of thrusters on this ship as well. Um, as you can see, we've got some large ones on the side there and the front. And at the back here, we have the mother of all thrusters here. So. There's, uh, there's no shortage of acceleration as you can see and you'll soon um, soon see when I uh, have a little fly around but they've also got these little blue lights on the side here which I really like sort of adds this kind of like blue glow if I just turn my little uh, headlights off there you can see it like illuminates the thrusters up and that makes it look pretty cool so I like that feature a lot and then also just at the bottom here I'll just turn these little lights back on we've got these little armor panels here which just sort of add a bit more detail I think they look nice. I do like the yellow and white color scheme. At the bottom here, we've got some orange. Again, doesn't serve any purpose there with those cylinders, but again, it looks very nice. And I believe that's also on the top side as well. So if I just go up here, yeah. So they've got that there as well. And I guess, again, you could say that's like some fuel fuselage kind of thing. Um, yeah, but there are a lot of little details on this ship here. As you can see, we've got a little passageway block there just to sort of add a bit more again geometry and stuff like that um, on the front here or sorry at the top we've got these little uh, blast door blocks which have been used to add a bit more sort of like indents and stuff like that and we've just got some armor panels on top there got some other little thrusters hidden in there some neon lights used as like superconductors or some, some something like that um, can't say for sure but uh, yeah, and we got, again, we've got these little nacelles on the side here, which just have their little thrusters tucked in. Um, I think, oh yeah, and then at the front here as well, we've got the little uh, docking pad for a small ship. And this is the entrance over here. It's a bit confusing to find. I spawned it in upside down, and I uh, it might look a bit confusing with the little... Uh, little edit thing I'll do of the ship at the start there, because I thought the other side was the top, but... Um, not a really uh, much of a problem there, but uh, yeah. Over here, we've got a little uh, gyroscope. It's just exposed. I think that's more for detail than practicality, because that would probably just get shot down. And we've got these little walkways here, so you can repair your turrets mid-battle or whatever. Can't walk between there to the thing there, but that's all right. I guess you can just do a little jump up. And we've also got some little custom turrets here that they've just made using some uh, little, I believe these are the artillery cannons. And uh, we've also got some little cylinders at the front here, some more beam blocks, and of course another docking port. So this is another entrance over here as well, uh, in case you needed to use that. The main sort of uh, weapon on here though is the railgun, definitely, for sure. And there's just a little camera just there, so you can uh, sort of help aim that a little bit better. And at the bottom here as well, I've got some artillery cannons. Well, sorry, I, yeah, I believe these are the artillery ones as well. And... Um, yeah, so it's sort of like, I guess, if you're going to be like doing stuff with it, you probably want to be flying over stuff because it seems to be a bit more heavily armed in that respect. However, you can't take this into planetary sort of 
atmosphere uh, environments because it doesn't have any hydrogen thrusters it only has the little ion thrusters there we've also got the emc words here which i believe are the uh, faction uh, what are they called uh, I forget that'll come back to me but uh, yeah anyways we've got these little windows here which look nice and got some little piston heads here again with the lights there that looks nice more use of the armor panels there to add a bit more detail we've got some antennas here and two sort of like fake ones but with uh, but they look cool and what else what else we got some more little thrusters another little uh, cylinder thing there sort of little nooks and crannies in there which I think look nice in fact this whole like little uh, like I guess you could call this like a little bit of a bridge sort of thing here seeing so, it's not connected but um, I do like the shape of that I think that comes out really nice and we've also got a large cargo container there at the bottom with the red we've got another custom turret down there and I think that is everything for the exterior so we'll just head inside we've also got the words Aurora there which I think look real nice and uh, yeah, okay, so I will just say now, when I spawned in this ship, this door was locked here, so I had to play through it with spectator camera, and there's a button just on the inside here to uh, turn it on and off. So this one worked fine, but uh, this little button here, as you can see, it says top uh, door top exterior. So if you just click that, and I go to try and open this, that won't work, as you can see the uh, red lights are there, so that's okay. So let's just make sure that's turned on um, and we've also got a little gatling turret here to stop any intruders coming in which in a minute you're going to see why that is very very useful and we've also got a little storage locker here i guess in case you want to store some guns or some like tool parts or something because if you're flying in and out of the ship doing repairs and stuff so we'll just drop down here there is only one floor and that is the bridge here um, that you uh, enter. So as you can see, that little turret that was up there was very, very useful because, I don't know, I mean, look, if the turret wasn't there and you had the bridge here in a multiplayer setting, I wouldn't really say that's probably the best idea just because, I mean, like, if you're gonna be sitting right there, so we can just come here and just pop a few in your head. So that's good that that little turret's there. I would hope that it's enough. Um, but yeah, anyway, so it's a nice little bridge, pretty simple, um, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Not too much lighting going on. I mean, these lights are very sort of, I guess, moody, I suppose. Got some, like, faintly blue light here. And uh, we've just got some little LCDs there. So I believe this one tells you if you're targeting something with the railgun. And that is just the speed that the vessel is traveling at. So we've got two side cockpits here, which I don't think yet. Yeah, these don't have anything uh, assigned to them. So that's more of just, I guess, a like a cosmetic sort of component of the ship so this is the main seat here and I'll just show you how uh, how it handles so this is the acceleration as you can see in the bottom left there it does accelerate pretty uh, pretty quickly for a large ship like this a large grid ship and the deceleration as you can see there isn't all that much to write home about I'll just hold S now to go backwards as you can see it's quite slow so I do recommend if you want to uh, use this ship that you might have to just like point it backwards so you can use those uh, back thrusters there as uh, yeah those are where the majority of the thrust is coming from and as you can see in the hot bar down the bottom there we've got our number one so I'll just use number two for the camera there just so you can see the railgun perform a bit better we'll just select that and there you go that fires off there so you've got one little railgun there and yeah that'll just charge up again Number six, that'll just turn on and off the artillery cannons that are on the bottom of the ship. And if I go to my second little tab here, you'll see I've got some batteries. I can turn the thrusters off and I can control the jump distance and uh, when we want to jump for the jump drive there. If I click number three, four, yeah, there's nothing there. So it's just one and two. Now for the custom turret controls, I'm gonna assume that would be somewhere, maybe this. No, okay, well I'm not too sure, uh, maybe they're just like AI controlled, I can't say for sure. Um, I didn't test it, which is a bit silly of me, but anyways. Uh, here we have a survival kit here. Um, why you wouldn't have a medical bay, not too sure, maybe, I don't know if it's to conserve power or something, or just the fact that it's like tucked away, but I mean if you want to change your colour or stuff like that, I, I do think that is the only use of the uh, medical bay is that you can change your like skins or your, like, your suits color and stuff like that um, but that's all right i mean who, who really cares 
and over here we've just got nothing so it's not identical at the back here and also there are these nice little orange signs there i'll just turn the lights off for the sake of uh, being able to experience the ship's mood um, but here we have engineering at the back here so we have uh, two large uh, reactors here so if i just go down these steps got a little shelf there as well um, i hope you can see this in youtube isn't like uh, compressing the footage or whatever and making it impossible to see with this dark lighting but we've got a warfare reactor here and at the back here we have a normal large reactor there and there's the jump drives located just above um, yeah i'm pretty sure that's it for this room i do like the orange uh, light panels here i think that's very moody and all the tubes here make a real good sort of like cinematic kind of um atmosphere and we've also just got some gyroscopes here as well. We've got two there that I can see. There's also this area here. We've got a maintenance tunnel. So I'll just open and close these doors here, seeing there's no atmosphere. And I'll turn the lights on for this one. So as far as I could tell, I think it's just got to do with being able to fix these conveyors here. But I'm pretty sure these are tucked in pretty well. So I don't think it really... Uh, would be all too useful seeing you can't go to the left and right but uh, then again doesn't hurt to have that so yeah that's all right moving on I'll show you the front of the ship now we've got this little door here so this will take us to the crew quarters armory and ready room so initially upon entering this little hallway here we've got another little interior turret so I suppose if invaders were to uh, break through to the bridge and then I guess if you're gonna all try and go hide in here somewhere you've got this to help um, or then again I suppose with the door at the front there uh, with just with the way these barriers are set up that's probably more so to protect um, the people in here if, uh, if there is invaders coming from the front there but uh, yeah anyways we've got a little gun rack here uh, hence the name the armory of course we've got a little tube here which I believe is a conveyor and I'll just turn the lights on. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to need these on. Okay, so here we've got a uh, one of the crew rooms. So we've got a bathroom, a toilet, a shower. Uh, I think that's it for that. We've got a little little uh, plant thing there and three beds. And then I think it's the same on the other side as well. Yeah, pretty much. We've just got also a nice little like window out there. So you can see the sun there, which I think is nice how they've lined up the... Uh, tilted armor on the, the front there with the inside sort of bit there see that yellow so that I think that's pretty cool uh, where are we going this way okay so here we have the gravity generator and I believe, yes okay so this button will turn on and off the gravity as you can see we're in the air I'll just turn that off and then we'll go back down um, yep okay oh wait so here's the custom turret controls here okay I was wondering where those were oh game has frozen okay no we're good Alright, so here's another little uh, botanical box thing, and we've got a nice little seat here with a good view of the outside there. Very cool. As you can see, you can see Earth down there, sort of. Uh, that's there. Again, the lighting isn't too great here, but I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much. I'll just keep these little lights on here. So here we have a, what I'm going to assume is another ship. Unless it's like a miniature of the ship we're on, but it looks like it might be another ship. This ship is part of collection, so I'm going to assume that's part of that. So, yeah, anyways, that's there. Got a little hologram table with some seats. And a nice little kitchen room here. So I guess this is sort of like the hangout space. And then also when uh, it's time for battle, we've got these little uh, custom turret controllers here. So, moving on, we've got the cargo bay and forward airlock. So I'll just open this door here. Uh, I don't really know why it's referred to as a cargo bay, I guess because it's got these shelves here and it's got a cargo container But there isn't anywhere to like park a vessel or a car or anything. So yeah, I It, it does lack sort of like having a hanger, but uh, that's okay And here we've got the cycle airlock button and that'll just do this like room that I'm in here. This is the airlock so I think if I Oopsie daisy, if I just click that, I imagine, okay, of course, yeah, there's a button right there, never mind. Stupid me. So we've got these little lockers here with the uh, suits and guns and stuff like that, and I believe, yeah, that's just an air vent. So we do that, and then we come out to the front there, and that's pretty much every, well, yeah, that is everything for the exterior there. 
So I'll crash the ship now and I'll see you in a moment. Alright, so we're just above the planet now and I think I'm going to aim for this ice lake and I'll probably speed up the footage this time because we are a bit far back. In fact, they might even teleport us closer, so I'll be right back again. Okay, yep, I've just done that now, so we're a lot closer. I will speed this up anyway, so enjoy the crash. Alrighty, it looks like we've just had a really, really good crash. I might just uh, go in the spectator camera for this, just so I don't have to break any blocks artificially. Okay, that was, yeah, wow, that was a very good crash. Holy. Okay, so it looks like pretty much all of the front has just been absolutely evaporated. Uh, I can't quite tell. That's the maintenance hall there. Oh, okay, so it'll be over here, I think. Nope. Where are we? Or well, maybe... Oh wait, okay, no, here we are, yep, so here's the... Oh, okay, so this was the room where the custom turret controllers were, and the little crew quarter, like, hangout area, there was the hologram table there, so... There it is there, on the ceiling. Uh, and it doesn't look like anything back here has been affected at all, so that's alright. But yeah, no, that was a pretty good crash. Um, yeah. Oh well. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love reading the comments, and we're trying to get to 500 subscribers sometime this year. That would be really, really good, and probably make my year. So yeah, have a good day, and uh, see ya.